The Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament is back in session. Uh, we're playing Imperial 2030. Proof. Um, and a lot's happening. It looks like we might end the game this um, this video. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But let's take a look at what's going on. So there's wh why I think we might end the game. We have Europe and Russia, both pretty substantial powers way ahead on the track. Brazil's coming up. All of them have opportunities to do well. Europe actually, although it's in the lead, probably has the least opportunity. Russia has invaded under the command of Chappie here, who, if you recall, has recently come into some money. Europe, under the control of Hair Bear, our big man, um, who also controls China, neither power is doing very well. Um, China is back here in time zero land. It'll be lucky if it gets to times one, though I think it probably will, as long as he chooses. We just had a round of the turns, and that herd that was sitting right there in the maneuver space, right in front of the investor line, most, for the most part, passed it. Um, Otto got to make his investment. Still got a pretty substantial investment in Europe right here that will cement his control, I think. Um... Uh, for a little while anyway. It's it's going to be Hair Bear's turn to invest next, but Hair Bear doesn't have much cash. So I don't think he's going to be able to get back. Bird got a chance to invest. He was almost invested in Russia. He had 12 million he wanted to throw down. Um, he could have gotten a controlling stake in Russia, but he didn't really like the idea of controlling Russia. It just didn't seem very much fun to him. So he put, he reinforced his, his hold on Brazil, which you know, was doing pretty respectable on the track. Um, Chappie, for his part, he decided to invest in India. He was, he was going to go with one of his two, two horses in the race, India or Russia. He decided to go with India. He's really going to have to move India quickly to make that investment pay off. Russia is much further up the track. Um, and they seem to be about equally powerful. The, India's got a little bit more land. Russia has more forces. Uh, he's using Russia more as an inhibitor, although India has kind of gotten back to its old role of inhibiting China because China did some importation of tanks and Chappie did not like that. Hair Bear just got to invest. He did a rather Curious move, um, given where the United States is on track. I think it was a purely competitive move, if you ask me. He, uh, being unable to increase his uh, ownership of Europe, so he could not afford that large bond, he decided to wrest control of the United States from Otto. Uh, what he's going to do with that, I don't know. So he now controls both China and the United States. Does the stack look smaller? Because it should... Otto finally felt it safe enough to land Europe on the investor space. He got $20 million out of it. Uh, his competitor for control of the country, Hair Bear, only got seven. So, and the investor card's coming to him next. So, I think it was probably a smart move from, from Otto's perspective, especially since Europe doesn't seem to be going anywhere. So he might as well take what he can out of it, try and get some... Some, some bonds and perhaps Russia because Russia just jumped way out ahead. The game's going to be ending soon. We just hit uh, tax time for a couple countries. Some more are going to be coming underway. Uh, China finally got the times one zone. Okay, so Chappie did choose investor. Big shift just happened. Some of you probably saw it coming. Uh, Otto had a ton of cash uh, and he actually got one million extra. Uh, for getting the payout an investor, but he had enough to buy a fairly substantial, the second largest Russian bond there, took control of Russia. I I didn't really see it coming. I, you know, if I was Otto, I would probably see it coming. But I I'm controlling all these people, so I don't I don't think as much as I as I should. One of the nice things about playing with other people is you get to um, Kind of consider your position a little more and consider all the factors a little more. One thing I, I find that I kind of lose um, is the strategic pacing on the rondelle when I'm when I'm playing all these people. I kind of just very think pretty tactically. I think in the moment, kind of 
they have their personality, so they have their kind of general thing they're going to do. Um, but this game, for those of you who don't know the game, you can really, you know, pacing the, the, the taxation and the investing is pretty key to, to success. Um, so, especially if you're playing with the investor card. I actually haven't played without the investor card. I would like to do it. I, I wouldn't like to do it with real people cards, though, because it's just like after every country's turn, if you don't use the investor card, you have to decide is each person whether or not they're going to invest in a given country, and that just would be way too many choices for a, for, for a turn. It would it'd take me forever to play. Now that Otto owns both Russia and Europe, things have changed quite a bit. Russia's still in um, European borders, but that's only because Russia has not had the opportunity to maneuver yet. Uh, it probably will this turn. Um, so Otto essentially is going to want Europe. Europe actually might take it again. Europe might be the, the winning country. Doesn't mean Otto's going to be the winning investor. However, he does have the most stock in Europe, so I think that might really help him take the game. The only thing that might change it is Chappie. Chappie is sitting on a hefty chunk of change. He has the investor card. There's a couple countries that are are going to cross it this turn, whether they want to or not. So if he can do something with Russia, uh, or some other country, get control of some other country, or perhaps use India, he might be able to stop Europe from taking the game and take it himself. I want to note this might probably be a good time for Otto to push his country a little harder and move Russia to the tax space and end the game. Um, couple reasons he's not going to do that. First and foremost is he, you know, he's got the controlling share in Russia, but he doesn't have near as much stock as he does in Europe. More importantly, he doesn't have any money, so he can't push it anyway. For those of you wondering, that's why that's not going to happen. India hit investor, and it's Chappie's turn to invest. He's sitting on a stack of $25 million, or I counted it before I started the camera so you wouldn't have to watch me. Um, he could very well take back control of Russia. If he did that, what would his choices be? He could then make Russia end the game, which, you know, really bond-wise, even then he would not be doing the best. Or he could put more money into India. If he did that, you know, India just moved, and he's probably not going to get another chance to move before the game ends, so whatever he gets would be times three. Probably wouldn't be worth the money. What he's going to do, and I don't think he's thought this out very well, but he has his $25 million, and he's learned today and yesterday and a couple days ago when he started this game that when you put money into something, it will come back to you. And so he's going to put money into Brazil. And he's going to believe that Brazil will come back to him. Well, the game is over. Let's take a look at our players and see how they worked out. Hair Bear here. Well, unfortunately, his physical and emotional size did not translate well to the game table. He got into a, a firm competition early on, was very aggressive, uh, scared some people, I think. I think he, he intimidated others, but in the end, it did not pay off for him. He did not win the game. Uh, Demi was a very passive player. He seemed like he was just kind of enjoying the company of the other people. Um, I think, you know, I think he's an intelligent man, and he could have played better. But, you know, he was in Brazil. He was having a great time. Uh, Bird also did not win the game. And... Why he didn't win, I don't know. I, th I, th 
I think maybe he just kind of got on the wrong end of the whole the whole European thing. He um, he had a lot of good bonds, um, but he didn't have enough good bonds in the the places that counted. Uh, he was also sort of just having a lark. He wasn't totally into the game. Um, Chappie. Chappie ended the game broke. I don't know that that is such a bad thing. Because he has shown that no matter how much he spends, no matter how much he's in debt, he can come back and he can make that money pay off. His gambit with Brazil was pretty stupid. He could have totally looked at the board and figured out that there was no way uh, taking control of Brazil would help him um, stymie Europe or Russia or anything else. Um, he ended up losing a point on the deal. Not a big deal, um, but it did not help. Look here, we have our scores. Hair Bear 71, Chappie 82, Bird 94. Second place, not so bad. I think he had potential. Uh, Otto 139 and Demi 41. So let's take a look at our board here. Just in case you actually can compute what's on the board. Um, there's where everything ended up. And there's where our scores ended up. Russia ended up winning the game country-wise. Europe did not take it. Otto almost actually at the end opted, almost opted not to have Russia tax because he really wanted Europe to get it. But he ended up, that's where his intelligence kind of paid off. Um, our ending bonds, I mean, it's like, that's 20 right there. So 20 times 4 is 80. That's 80 points. That's That's higher than the two last place winners right there just with his European bonds and then he had Russia on top of that. Um, his birds bonds. Nice assortment. And there we go. So Otto will be going on as the American player, um, which is actually kind of fitting. He did control America for much of the game uh, in Labyrinth, the War on Terror, 2001 to... Huh? Um, he'll be playing that game against the winner of the ideology, the war of ideas game. These other four players, if you got attached to them, don't despair. They will be coming back in outdoor survival. Um, I'm, they'll be mixed up with those who did not win. I don't want to say losers because they all gave it a good try. Um, they'll be mixed up with those who did not win other games. Um, to see if they can survive. And if they can survive, they will have another shot at continuing in the tournament. Um, appreciate you all watching this. I, well, I won't go into how unwatchable I think it might be, but um, the, next, the next game I'm planning on doing after I do a review or two is um, Middle Earth Quest. So that should be interesting. Hope you enjoy that as well. Thanks a lot.